morning and good afternoon, everyone. Let's start with a quick, a quick overview of Citrix Systems. Next slide, please. So Citrix Systems is the leading provider of networking, virtualization, and software as a service technologies for many, many organizations worldwide. Our revenue in 2010 was $1.9 billion, and Citrix hardware division sells VPNs, van optimization, and lab accelerators. Next slide, please. As many other companies, Citrix faced many challenges three years ago. As uh, acquisitions had resulted in multiple supply chains with different ERPs, suppliers, and 3PLs. Our unit ship volume was growing, and some of our materials required almost 26 weeks lead time. We desired to move to vendor managed inventory, and also our stakeholders needed near real time consolidated tracked visibility across the supply chain for Citrix and our partners as well. But there was no single version of truth. Our processes were managed via spreadsheets with data coming from Salesforce.com, Siebel, multiple ERP systems. Next slide, please. So we considered different solutions, even building our custom application. But it looked too expensive, and it was very hard to match recent advancements in BI technologies. We knew what we wanted, a single solution, one place where all our users will come to get the information they want. Uh, we also knew that we needed to directly empower business users. We had some other concerns like severe hockey stick at the end of quarter, and also we needed to roll out very quickly. Next slide, please. So we reviewed the different solutions, and at the end we decided to go with Burst. We started our project in July 2009 after proof of concept was done. We had two developers with no training uh, built two dashboards in only 10 days. Those dashboards were very important for us, unit ship and inventory. By August, we had five dashboards up and running. Since then, our main data space, we call it Order Fulfillment Center, RFC, contains more than 200 data sources. Data coming from different applications, databases in different file types and formats. Today, we have opportunities backlog, shipment, reliability, on-time delivery, FSBO, uh, BIP, ESP, ECO, ECR, and many, many others dashboards and reports in our system. We also have near real-time feeds for key processes, dashboards like uh, unit shipped and backlog on month and quarter end. Info push email notifications are sent to stakeholders when SLIs are not met on on-time delivery re reliability or cost reductions. We have full implementation of role domain-based access management, and some of our power users build their own data spaces with reports and dashboards. Next slide, please. Uh, Burst allow us to have a full logical view of our physical activities in supply chain. So let's review this process. Everything starts with opportunities. Based on opportunities, we build our forecast. At some point, some of those opportunities become bookings and then backlog. To be able to ship those backlog quantities, we need to have information about our inventory. Once we ship those lines, they become revenue. Each of these steps or entities has some measures that measure their success. For example, we have on-time delivery, reliability that are very, very important for shipments. Inventory turns and FGI by GEO or by product family are very relevant for inventory. So let's start to review uh, some of our dashboards. Next slide, please. As I said, everything starts with sales opportunities. That's why we have opportunities as a first tab in our OFC system. All our tabs have summary, detail, and quick search use. Usually, summary has as the first uh, thing a very small table that shows the most important numbers for that tab. In this case, we measure 
opportunities by probability, and we show quantity and dollar values for each probability. We also have a um, composed chart, usually column and line chart. In this case, we have a chart by customer count, by product version, and by geo. All these charts and reports can be downloaded to PDF or Excel, uh, or Excel file, and our users do that very often. Next slide, please. Opportunities at some point become backlog. We recognize clean and dirty backlog, and that's why we have this table here that shows our backlog quantity and dollar, dollar values by that attribute. As you can see, we have charts, again, by product version, by customer, by geo. Next slide. This is a very important chart for our planning team. So it actually compares our current quarterly forecast to current opportunities, backlog, and shipments. And if they decide there are some adjustments needed to forecast, they do that. And then also we send a notification to our suppliers to change their MRP and MPS uh, documents as well. Next slide, please. Backlog turns into shipments. On this uh, tab, we have summary, detail, quick search, and also we have a tracking numbers. On this tracking numbers um, page, we actually show shipping lines and their tracking numbers. And simply clicking on a hyperlink on the tracking number, we can go to our carrier website to get additional information about that shipment if needed. So on this summary, uh, page, we show totals for current quarter, last quarter, last year, so we can compare how we're doing. We also have charts, again, uh, column and line, by geo, by customer order type, by uh, product family and product version. Next slide, please. Uh, Burst Solution was part of our program that helped us achieve great, great results in just a couple of months. So uh, if we compare inventory of Q4 2008 versus Q4 2009, we notice that inventory turns increased by 500%, days of supply reduced by 35%, and total finished goods inventory decreased by 60%. Today, our on-time delivery is greater than 99%. We also noticed some big improvements in cost reductions. On Agile business analytics uh, level, we have today single BI analysts supporting 200 data sources and more than 400 users.